Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, February 17th. Thank you for joining us. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for giving us this day. We pray, Father God, that this time be glorifying your name, Father God, because you are instilling in us your word and empowering us to share that word with others. We thank you, Father God, for this opportunity and every opportunity to learn more about you so that we can share you with others. And we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. We are in Matthew 14, 13 through 21. This actually has been called Jesus' year of popularity while in Capernaum. He was extremely popular and the people followed him everywhere. When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. A number of those who ate was about five thousand men, besides women and children. In 13, we read, when Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Jesus had just heard that his cousin, John the Baptist, was beheaded at the request of Herod's daughter, and his head was placed on a platter, and the daughter took it to her mother. In 14, we read, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Jesus didn't say, leave me alone. I need some time to myself. Jesus responded to the needs of the people. Jesus responded with compassion. He didn't say there are too many of you with too many needs. Jesus also has compassion for us. He hurts when we hurt. He wants also to heal our hearts, our minds, and our bodies. Jesus is love. Jesus loves. Jesus came to serve, not to be served. As Christians, we also are to put others first, to serve with humble hearts, to love others. During these COVID times, let's not retreat to ourselves, but reach out to others. Send a text, make a phone call, ask prayer requests, share your own prayer requests. In 16 and 17, Jesus replied, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. When God has a will for us to complete, he also will make it happen. We need to just be obedient, not make excuses, just trust in him, have faith. Listen to his still small voice and it will happen despite our stalling and or our insecurities. In 20, they all ate. God doesn't just provide our immediate needs, but more than we need, more than we ask for, more than we expect. Jesus is a way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper, a light in the darkness. When we use our gifts to serve, Jesus will not only use us, but he will multiply our talents, provide the time, and increase our blessings and those whom we serve. We will, he will turn our limitations and weaknesses into strengths. In 21, we see the number of those who ate was about 5,000 men. The reason they only say the number of men is because in those days, out in public eating, the women and the children ate separately from the men. So I encourage you to have some compassion this time, this COVID time where people are struggling. People are struggling physically, mentally, spiritually. People are struggling financially. Reach out to someone. Place a phone call, send a text. Every day, just pick someone that you want to reach out to. Someone who might be struggling, who might be depressed. Heal someone's heart 
at this COVID time. Everyone needs to hear that someone does love them, that someone does understand, that someone is out there for them to take their prayer requests. In addition, give your prayer request. Just because we continually ask someone's prayer request doesn't mean we don't have our own. We certainly have our own also. So accept prayer requests and give your own prayer requests so that we all can be part of this Christian life, this Christian family, being Christ-like, loving each other, supporting each other, having the same compassion that Jesus has. We praise you, Father God, for everything that you have done in our lives. We pray, Father God, that we see who needs our word, Father God, who needs to hear our voices, Father God, who needs to hear about you, who needs to have you in their life now more than any time, Father God. We thank you, we love you, and we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. God bless you, everyone. Have a week filled with blessing. Reach out to someone. Share your love. Share the love of Jesus. Share your compassion, and it will come back on you. You will be showered with grace and mercy and blessings. God bless you, everyone.